Much of the Wabash Valley spent today closed in observance of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. But that didn't stop some students from finding somewhere open and pitching in. News 10's Eric Stidman is in the studio tonight. Eric, this is part of Martin Luther King's Day of Service. Mike Patrice, that's right. And what a day it was. Indiana State University says nearly 400 students turned out to give back, something they say the late civil rights leader would have wanted. Sunny skies with a touch of cold couldn't stop these Indiana State University students Monday. First, a quick meet and greet on campus, then off to volunteer. And we actually already have 300 students who have swiped in, and we have close to 400 people who have registered for the event today. Jennifer Christian is the event coordinator and helps rally the troops. Troops like Sycamore sophomore student Jessica Hayden, who planned to spend her day at Rives Hall. And this is because I like to help out and give back. I don't believe in being selfish. Students there spent quality time with the kids. Oh, because I love kids. Love little kids. Did a few dance moves, and a group of others helped sort the Catholic Charities Food Pantry. ISU junior Richard Brock says even with the massive volunteer effort. I feel like there should be more people, honestly, but I mean, as long as there's people doing it, that's all that matters. In some cases, more volunteers turned out than work that could be done. <laughs> Hope Boys and Girls Club, a little hooping happened for some kids. Again, more ISU students getting involved and in the computer lab. But on this day, where city, county, state, and federal offices have the day off, day of service organizers say. We really wanted to make it a day on instead of a day off. Our students have the day off, but we really want to promote service. There's never a bad day to do community service. She just wanted to volunteer and she asked me if I would come with, and so 